Hey guys, this is Rock King 3 bringing you the live commentary, Forza 5. And I'm going to be running a third lap here um, in this D Class revisited Camaro Z28. It's a very dominant car to this track, but funny thing happened in my warm up lap. I actually beat my old time, which was in the 160th place, I think, something like that, 160, 170. So it was a pretty good time to begin with. Um, <laughs> but I've improved this car in this revisit. So you're going to see that it's even a lot better than what it was before. Um, pretty sure we can put this car in the top 50. We're going to try to do that here real quick. Just putting this together. Turn, car, turn. The car is, is pretty tough to handle. you got to be kind of an advanced driver to run it. you got to have good throttle control. You know you have to turn in early to make each and in individual turn. I had the the brakes cranked up, but I still braking a little bit earlier than I normally would with most cars, just because there's not a lot of traction here. That's where I dirtied it last time. So we'll get this car back on the road. So this is part of my parts and tunes revisited of all the classes. This is going to be my last D-class car. Uh, I'm going to move up to C-class next. So I did I did about three of my favorite cars here total in D-class, and it kind of covers a lot of the type of tracks that you're going to be running on. Uh, one thing I didn't do was the Mini Cooper, just because um, it's not one of my favorite cars, and I don't really like to run it. It's just a small car. Um, it's definitely really good and it's very dominant in D-Class, um, but not one of my favorite cars to drive, so that's why I'm doing the ones that I'm doing this time around. Not quite as far ahead as I was in the last lap. Actually, the last lap my uh, rival was gone most of the time because I beat him in the first one, um, but again, that is my rival right behind me. Here I like to turn in a little bit right before the red so I can get a little bit of right turn going. And I'm actually going to use all the gears here. I'm going to go down all the way down first. Try to keep momentum as possible. It's not a real easy car to keep clean. It's not too bad because you know it's a D-class car so it doesn't get going that fast. Um, but it is like driving with ice skates on. So you got to kind of plan each of your small turns and all of your big turns. And, uh, you know, the second half of this track is a lot of change of directions. For me, it's really just trying to keep the car under control. So far, so good. We're staying clean. See, I want to cut that as quickly as possible so I can straighten out the car and get the power back down. That was actually a pretty good turn. A little bit slower this lap. Um, last lap I had a dirty, but it was uh, but a little bit quicker. About half a second off of that pace. Lost a lot of speed right off that first major S. And that part didn't help right there either. Throttle control all the way on that. And once I get going, I, then I slam on the gas. There we go. See if we can finish this off. Probably broke a little late there. Nope, it worked out okay. Don't want to go too wide there either. We want to definitely set up for this one. There we go. Back on the gas. And not quite as good as I wanted it to be. 
Um, I think I, I think I had one that was dirty in the 426s. And I think if I drove a few more laps, I might even get a little bit better on a couple of those turns. But overall, this should still be pretty good. We should be close to the top 100, if not in the top 100. And it's one of those things, you just take a few laps on it and you get a little bit better and a little bit better with it. Come on! 986, we're cruising. All right, we got 70th with it, not too bad. Um, like I said, I think this, this car is probably between 424 and 426, the way it's kind of set up. If we look at that, it's going to be somewhere between 30th and where we're at now. Um, like I said, I think that's pretty much a top 50 car if you guys want to give it a few, few laps. So now that we've done that part, let's go take a look at the parts and tune on that so you guys can work with it. And then I'll actually uh, save it as well in case you guys want to download it and not take the time to buy all the parts and stuff. All right. So let's go to here and let's start with the parts. Then we'll do the uh, conversions first. Uh, we have the stock engine, we have the stock drivetrain, and we have the centrifugal supercharger. All right, to the engine. Uh, we have stock intake, stock carburetor, stock ignition. I'm seeing a theme here. Stock exhaust, stock cams and valves, stock engine block, stock pistons, and we have the race centrifugal supercharger, 62 horsepower for 14 pi. It's quite a bit. And one of that car does so well. We have the street intercooler. It looks like I actually had to go to it just to add a little bit of weight and uh, only gained seven horsepower, but actually lost a PI on that one. We had the race, and yeah, so I had to do that there too, race oil and cooling. And we have the street flywheel. I'm not sure why I have that, but if you guys can do without that, find another PI somewhere, although we didn't gain any. Uh, we had the race brakes, and we're gonna have the race springs and dampers, the race front and rear anti-roll bar. Um, we have no race chassis here, so you see that it must gain a lot of handling. It does. So we have stock there. Um, we have stock weight reduction. We have the stock clutch. Uh, we have the sport transmission just for speed purposes. And we have the stock drive line and the race differential. Um, stock tires all the way around. Stock everything within tires. We have the front Forza wing. Again, a reduction of PI. We have the rear Forza wing, a reduction of PI. And we have the stock hood. See, we're really fighting PIs on this one. Tires are 27 front and rear. Gearing is at 2.70 on the sport transmission. Alignment is negative 2.8 and negative 2.8 with the toes zeroed out. Front caster at 6.0. Um, soften these up quite a bit. We have roll bars at 17.79 in the front, 12.86 in the rear. The car does understeer a little bit, but that's probably for the best. Springs we have set up for understeer as well, 647.7 and 600.2 in the rear. Ride height is all the way down. You do not have any problems with the ride height on that car on that track. We have the Race Boy 77 settings with 11.7 in the rebound stiffness and 1.9 in the bump stiffness. We have everything as low as you can go here on the downforce, 50 and 75. Braking balance is standard at 47 and 200%. And differentials at 33 and 5%. 
Um, I would love to run that a few more times. That track becomes very time consuming. Um, but let me know how you guys turn out. I guarantee you if, um, if you can control it and throttle control that car, um, each one of you guys will get into the top 50 at some point or another. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. Catch you in the next one. Later.